welcome to a special uh, edition of Indulge. Today we have uh, Sumit Vyas, who has given us memorable series such as TVF Tripling and has also starred in Vinity Wedding. Sumit is back with a new series called Jugadistan on Lionsgate and he joins us today. Hi, Sumit. Hi, how are you? Good, good, Sumit. Sumit, so Jugadistan trailer looks really interesting. Uh, thought provoking because I think today uh, with the kind of uh, you know things that are happening around the country, uh, students and uh, you know stories about them are all the more relevant. So tell me about Jugadistan, your role, and what's it all about? Uh, I mean, Jugadistan, the show is is uh, essentially a campus show, uh, and thankfully, it's not just all about you know, Valentine's Day and heart-shaped balloons and, you know, cold coffee. It's, there's more to it than that. Uh, it's uh, very well uh, crafted. There, there are a bunch of characters who represent a certain uh, section of the people. And, uh, and yeah, it's a thriller and a very interesting one. So that is the show. And uh, my dear friend Akash Kurana is making it. Uh, Akash and his brother Adhar Purana, they co-directed it. And uh, that was one of the biggest draws for me, to be very honest. I didn't even like ask twice what my role was or whatever. As soon as they said that you're making a show and we would like you to be in it, uh, it was pretty much, uh, I was on board. Uh, and thankfully, they, they thought, thought of me in this character, which is a very edgy character, which, which is very different from the kind of parts that I have done in the past. Uh, something that I was actively seeking at that point. Uh, and uh, I really like Akash's approach to this show. It's it's very realistic. Uh, his brief to me was not to play the villain, uh, so to say, uh, and with, which was very refreshing because I don't think people who we think are villains in life don't, don't behave like villains. They behave like regular people. It's just their actions don't match up with uh, with most people's expectations, so that was the brief, and uh, and I, yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoyed playing the part. Okay, so you played the role of Bharti, if I'm not wrong, correct? Role of Bharti, yes. Yeah, yeah. So I I saw the trailer, I watched it, and I saw that you know you are campaigning for some elections and all of that, and you know how does it feel, uh, you know, to play a role of you know, of a student, but also an antagonist, what kind of prep did you have to go through? Uh, did you kind of reflect on your past experiences, your college life? What was the brief? I mean, I didn't have any active references uh, from my life, to be very honest, because I've done most of my education in Bombay, uh, Mumbai. Now. And uh, it's very different. We, uh, uh, Mumbai is not very active in student politics, so to say. And everybody's busy doing their own thing. And, you know, uh, but I've had certain exposure to student politics in Rajasthan and in Delhi. Uh, I have friends who studied there. I have met people who are still active in the whole student politics uh, department and uh, one thing that I found very fascinating was that there are a lot of students who just refuse to leave the campus for the longest time. They're just like, they probably, I don't know, they, it's just that comfort space that they get used to and they're always there. And, uh, and Bhati is one of those characters, you know, uh, even after he's completed his education, he's probably like enrolled in some other course so that he can continue being in the campus. And that also, uh, especially Delhi, uh, campuses are, are sort of the breeding ground for active politics. You know, it starts from student politics, it starts from there, and then they uh, graduate into active politics. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, that kind of research did go in, and I did my little bit of research uh, as to how that functions and you know, what kind of links they have with, uh, with active politicians and how, how they have a little bit of an upper hand uh, as far as students are concerned. And, and then, of course, there's a scam that is that is running in the show. Okay. So, Sumit, another interesting thing about your uh, shows is that you've been part of a lot of ensemble uh, shows. You know, where there's so many 
other people also playing playing key characters right so how is the mood when you are on set and how is it on like you got to stand because there's also arjun mathur and so many other you know talented actors and actresses who are part of it uh, so what kind of exchange was it here you know in terms of you know how was the chemistry and your rapport off screen oh uh, it's great i mean uh, mostly I, i know most of them uh they are all friends uh, essentially uh, who have sort of worked with or who have known for many many years arjun and i didn't have many scenes together i think paramrita and i we had some scenes together uh i had i've met him briefly on a number of occasions at like uh, whatever social gatherings and award functions and stuff like that and, uh, and this is the first time i was getting to work with him and it was brilliant i mean there was no real trust issue or there was no real competition to so to say and it was just a healthy exchange of you know uh, arts from different uh, walks of life coming together to create something and uh, it was quite interesting i would say next question was about you know working with akash you said you know you didn't even think about it and you just said yes but i think you and akash have been working closely for quite a few years uh, isn't it especially i think your theater background also somewhere yeah. so how has that relationship evolved with him and do you kind of understand him better you you don't he doesn't have doesn't even have to spell out things for you yeah to a certain extent that is true like uh, because i i mean he produced the first play that i directed uh so it's been close to 15 years probably more since we've been working together uh and on and off even when we were not working we were involved in each other's lives we've been close friends and there are very few uh people who you work with and also develop a friendship on the side you know and he's one of them so and uh, yeah i mean the great part about akash is that he wants people to have a good time when they are working it's important for him to for people to enjoy what they're doing because he really enjoys what he does you know and that is something that i really appreciate about him and uh, learn from him that he uh, he makes sure that you know everyone who's working on the set or on stage or you know in a theater company uh, they they love being in that space they want to spend more time there they and then essentially that translates into good work because because they're all happy to be in this space they are happy to create uh he allows you that kind of freedom as an actor or as a director or as a writer that you uh that you don't feel scared before you know blurting out a stupid idea you know you should be able to do that because only from those will you find those gems so so yeah i mean in that sense there's there's a lot of trust that uh the the two of us have in each other and and i guess i hope that translates on screen What are you working on next, Sumit? Oh, uh, there are a bunch of things that I had actually shot for last year, which are supposed to release this year. Lionsgate, apna Jugaristan is the first one to come out, and I'm very happy. Uh, but then there was one film, uh, the couple of films that we shot last year. Uh, one is with uh, Diljit Dosanjh and uh, Diana Penty. It's again an ensemble film, very exciting film uh, that is supposed to come out this year. this one film we had done which is a slightly indie film with me and radhika apte uh, the beginning of 2021 so that film i think is ready now so it should come out this year so yeah all of that is happening okay so so one take away for the audience from jugaristan if you had to share what would that be uh that it's a complete show i really feel that uh there's a little bit of uh there's a there's a bit for everyone in it you know essentially it is catering to the college audience but then there's also enough meat in the show to to keep the adults happy uh and uh, it's very hard to do and i really hope that people are able to see that and they're able to relate to some character or the other and they're able to enjoy the show as much as we did while making it thank you so much sumit it was a pleasure speaking with you and i'm really looking forward to watching you at the stand same same yeah thank you so much please do watch the show and let me know what you thought of it